Really that introduction to community college, I think is what saved my academic career and really put me on a path to be able to eventually graduate uh, with my bachelor's and be motivated for further education. My name is BJ Snowden. I am the Associate Vice President of Equity, Institutional Effectiveness, and Innovation uh, here at American River College. You know, college for me was really an idea. I, I didn't have foundationally a, an expectation of what it meant to be successful in college. So after uh, my first semester uh, directly at Sacramento State University, my cumulative GPA was a 1.13. So once the whole family got a, a look at that, we had to start creating a new plan uh, for my higher education journey. Uh, and that's really where I was in, uh, introduced to community college. And when I finally had that, that opportunity to, to, to really sit with it and to really think about what I want out of life and what I want specifically out of a college experience, I recognized that it wasn't going to just be doing the things that I wanted to do. I couldn't just passively earn a college degree. I mean, just right there in the words, earn a college degree. College degrees are not just given. You gotta do work. So for me, it was about deciding about that work versus about the play. I think acknowledging how you're feeling is extremely important, especially as a young person. I'll speak as a, as a young black man, it wasn't culturally cool. It wasn't the thing that we did to acknowledge your feelings. I think one of the challenges I see uh, for black men specifically in college right now is an apathy from the student lens. There is a comfort in just showing up and expecting everything to work itself out. It's very similar to the challenges I faced as an undergrad. What I wanna do and what I see I think is our future is really bringing the students uh, along and impressing upon them the challenges and the grit needed to be successful in college, to making sure that we, as we structure all the support systems around them, know that there is a majority of this work is gonna have to come from them. A majority of this work has to be based in your goals and your ability to work towards those goals. This is not a short-term investment. This is not, I can do this in a year and then I'm off to the races, I'm off running. No, this really is setting a foundation for your professional life. And if you do it right, if you invest in it now, the future is limitless. I think what really linked me to be successful in college had to be my peers. Um, I, I started to see them fall off uh, and to be very blunt, they were choosing work or they were choosing uh, other things to uh, fill up their time. And when I started to be sort of the last person standing, it, it made me feel like I needed to shift my associations and look for areas and look for individuals that could help motivate me and keep me focused on really what the, the real goal was, which was to earn a bachelor's degree. And I got lucky that I was exposed to uh, African-American, historically African-American fraternities at the time. So um, I got to witness them all, right? Omega Psi Phi, Alpha Phi Alpha, Phi Beta Sigma, Kappa Alpha Psi. And doing that, I started to see myself potentially aligning with one of the groups and uh, eventually ended up pledging a fraternity called Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. That network of, of uh, like-minded, uh, very focused, very driven uh, African-American males really gave me the network. Uh, I think that was sort of the, the icing on the cake that just pushed me over the top and motivated me to be focused and committed to my education and really be committed to investing in myself in a very meaningful way. In uh, 2011, um, it was the 100 year anniversary of the founding of the fraternity I'm a member of, Kappa Alpha Psi. At 100 years, we all met in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, some of us took the bus down to Bloomington to actually walk the campus and be in the same space as the founders of our fraternity. That moment was really magical for me. And I think professionally it was a turning point. I took time 
in that celebration to acknowledge the struggles of individuals who came before me. I took the time in that moment to acknowledge not just civil rights, but just to acknowledge the evolution of this country and the role of the black man in this country. It was important to be around men in their 80s and in their 90s who were members of an organization that I too was a member of, to talk about our dreams, to talk about our aspirations, to talk about how we would like to see our organization thriving in the future in a way to support specifically the college education and achievement of African-American males. I think the network that you develop uh, when you're in school and the network that you develop, especially early on in your career, is going to be essential for anything you're going to try to accomplish. None of this, none of this is easy by yourself. As a matter of fact, I would argue that it's impossible to do this, especially college, by yourself. And again, whether it's people who are going to school with you, whether it's people in your friend group or your circle that can just be there if you need to vent, you need people who have achieved the things you're looking to achieve, you need peers, right? and you also need outside perspectives, all in your network. So I firmly believe the best thing about college is the people you go through it with. BJ Snowden, uh, the Associate Vice President of Equity, Institutional Effectiveness, and Innovation at American River College, celebrating Black History Month.